What up, SMT Nation? We are back. Update to a previous video, uh, which I don't, I don't know if I had video footage on it, but uh, I definitely had some still photos of the construction of this tower site. And this is actually a tower site which I originally thought was going to be a Verizon build, and um, I was able to confirm that Verizon will be going up here. I spoke to the tower owning company, which I think is called is the Tower Company. <laughs> Shout out to the Tower Company uh, for one hell of a name. But uh, the site's been constructed. It's it's actually AT and T at the very top. This is going to be great for them. Uh, it's uh, looks like it's Ericsson, right off the rip, so it won't be a you know, like a conversion where they're going from Nokia to Ericsson, which is good, so it's not wasteful. Uh, you will see kind of like the way things are going up here. The construction is done. I think, I don't think the site is active yet, but it's it's done with in terms of construction. I think the, the fiber should be solid. Uh, AT&T is the ILEC here, so all these homes around here have AT&T fiber. Uh, they, you know, AT&T has access to all these utility poles and stuff like this. Uh, so it shouldn't have been a problem getting the the fiber to the site and then everything plumbed and everything. But they built the site from scratch. Uh, Verizon's next. They're actually going to go right under there. And this is going to be great because AT&T almost unusable here. Uh, Verizon almost unusable here. T-Mobile, uh, they have downlink but no uplink. So I, I, I don't personally, I don't think T-Mobile's going up there. They might, but it would be very low on this pole. Right, because you got to think about it. Like, here's AT and T at the top. We're about 100 and, uh, 175 feet. Right, that puts Verizon somewhere around 150, maybe 1 145. Right, I don't know where the hell is T-Mobile gonna go. Like right there, you know what I mean? But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, it's perfect placement to kill some dead zones. Uh, this this entire area there's like new developments all over um, that this way uh, you know they're going to stretch that signal down towards Avon from the station Ridgeville in that direction uh, it's gonna it's gonna really shore up some things which is great so I'm good with it I'm, I'm just glad the site is going up we'll see if T-Mobile can get on it but like I said the site's not active I I try to test it on my uh, dish AT&T access and I got nothing but uh, just so you guys know, let me give you a little zoom here. With respect to the radios and the antennas, those are two smaller squarish ones. Those are the uh, air antennas for Ericsson for DoD and C-band. Traditionally, it's been uh, C-band on the bottom and DoD at the top. But I'm not sure if that's still the case. I don't know. Maybe you guys can kind of let me know what you think it is. Um looking at the rest of the stuff everything looks good the wiring looks good the tower crew that did the installation did all this in about a week's time i'd say but uh yeah excited to test this and crush this dead zone and see what kind of speeds we get because this is going to be a 10 gig fiber site right off the rip we don't have to wait for uh for at t to kind of do it right as they say but anyways uh tell me what you guys think of that site man i'm excited to test it but uh you guys been seeing any new builds for AT&T? This definitely is going to sure up that first that situation too. Um, I don't know you guys can see some of the other radios. On the back end there. On the side, everything looks good, ready to go. Anyways, thanks for uh, watching the video, folks. Uh, please do uh, engage in the content, comment, uh, share your experiences with new tower builds and such from other carriers and what you're seeing from AT&T. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys on the next one.